everybody, it's Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Athletic Turf. Today, I'm being joined by Gilles Gayou. He is the CEO of Environmental Science. Gilles, just want to say thank you for taking the time to talk to, uh, to me and, and, and our readers. Thank, thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk. Thank it's an for... important moment for, for the company, so I'm very happy to share sure. that moment. We're talking about the acquisition of uh, environmental science from Bayer uh, into Synven. When I talk about environmental science, it's important for me to share that there is uh, many uh, businesses that we address in environmental science, and this is all those businesses, the professional business. So really, it's about uh, turf and ornamentals, so which includes lawn, lawn care, golf, uh, and, and sports turf. Uh, it's also uh, professional pest management. Um, it is uh, it is the vegetation management business. It's our vector control business. It's also our range and pasture business. So this is all our professional activities that are uh, acquired by uh, by Sinven out of uh, uh, Bayer. Sinven is uh, is a private equity company. It's a London base. Its base are out of the UK. It has a, a lot of experience in acquiring businesses from. Um, bigger groups uh, like like ourselves, you know, divisions, and uh, turning them into independent, uh, uh, totally focused, uh, self-standing businesses. This this partnership will allow us to to invest, to grow, to be a dedicated company in our market, and um, and I find that uh, I'm very excited by the the opportunity to work with Sinven in the future. Okay. Can you tell me, will environmental science be the name or is there going to be a rebranding? Will, will we, what do we call you in the meantime? What, what can you tell me about this? Yeah. We will have a transition time with Bayer on many different uh, elements. Uh, the first one is the brand. So uh, as long as we don't have our new corporate identity, we will be uh, using the Bayer brand to go to the market. It's, it's an understood transition with Bayer. So in the very short term, we'll be continued to, to call Bayer. But our goal is clearly to, to create a new identity. It's too early to, to push it forward. We, we don't have it yet. But uh, very soon, the, the name of the company will change. And, uh, and we will transition from Bayer to, to that new, uh, new identity. So, Gilles, I was watching the uh, Philadelphia 76ers and the Denver Nuggets last night, and they had the roundup minute, you know, that, for, that, that was going into the timeout. <laughs> where, where, does, where does glyphosate end up in, in all of this? The acquisition that is made by Synvent does not include the Ronda brand and, and the glyphosate brand uh, for a lot of uh, simply sim reasons like simplicity, like uh, legal uh, legal control of what's happening given the situation with Ronda. Bayer has retained all the rights of distributing this product. So Bayer will continue to sell the products to the professional. I, I just want to be very clear there. It's our commitment that as we transition from being the distributor of Roundup to not being the distributor, we will ensure that the, the market is, is properly taken care of and that Bayer has all the keys and, and all the relationship and all the knowledge to continue the, 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 the sale of uh, glyphosate products with, without any glitch. What can our readers expect immediately in terms of uh, just, is, is, do you forecast any type of disruption? Is there any type of pauses on anything yeah. or, or what, what should yeah. they expect in going in the growing season? Very, very good. Very good question. Again, um, look, let me let me talk to you about the timeline quick and then I'll, I'll tell you about our focus on business continuity. So we just did the signing. So there is a phase that has just entered now, which is between signing and closing. We will only uh, change ownership at the closing, which is expected in, in the second half of the year, say end of Q3, Q3. Um, in the meantime, we, we remain 100% Bayer. We remain by environmental science and we are owned by Bayer. So the, the business as usual will continue up until closing. And my goal is very, my number one focus is, is truly on business continuity. We, we have to maintain the, the capacity we have to supply the, the, the market, the capacity we have to serve our customers, the capacity we have to bring innovation. We will continue to register new products. We will continue everything we're doing today. So my focus, and I think it's important for your readers to, to understand that my number one priority is, and is, business, uh, is business continuity. And that's the same for the rest of the team. So we will be focused on making sure that uh, the products are, are available, that the services that we provide are there, that the team is in place, that the advice that we provide are there. Um, that, that's really our number, one, our number one focus today. 
Can you give me what uh, whatever your future cast is for this relationship and what what you hope to see becomes of the whole? Yeah. Just like, what, what's the long the long story here? Okay, so look, I I believe that um, this market is is um, is showing a lot of growth. There is a, there is a, a lot of opportunities in this market. So, what we want to build is the company that is totally dedicated to the market. You know, you know my, you know Bayer, you know my my usual uh, competition, which are excellent companies like the BSF, Syngenta, and and Corteva and others. Um, but I've lived it and I've been part of it. Those businesses are very opportunistic in a way. They are small compared to the crop science business. What we are building here is a company that is totally dedicated to those markets. We are not interested in crop. We are not interested in AD or any other agricultural markets. We are focused on the segments that I've been telling you. And I think by building that totally focused, dedicated group of people that are 100% on those markets, we're in a position to create additional innovation, additional growth, additional partnership. We're looking for new uh, insourcing of technology. We will benefit of the Bayer uh, innovation, but we are also looking for other type of innovation. We want to go into data science and digital transformation. We want to look at uh, monitoring uh, devices and, and algorithm and scientific element to support our users. So my goal is to expand the scope on which we are dedicated because we will be focusing only on the core, um, on our segments, and, and we're not interested in any other businesses. So as we do that, we really focus our innovation on, on those markets. So that's, that's my, my, my uh, goal and my vision. Um, we will continue to have a totally dedicated team and we will, uh, we will continue to invest in those markets. So what, um, maybe to answer to your, to your question, my, 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 my ambition really is to have a, a, a leader in this industry that allows um, all those segments to be considered as core business and not as uh, opportunistic business. Okay, well, fantastic. Well, Gilles, those, those are my questions. I appreciate you taking the time with our readers and, and, and with us. Uh, and thanks for, Thank you for very helping much. us all out.